We're in lockdown again. It's level four. Makes it sound like a bloody video game. But um, I'm getting stir crazy. I've had nothing to do, so I'm working on this old shed of mine. It's about 40 years old. Um, it's had a leak. The t only telltale sign. So the only telltale sign was that rust stain down the outside of the metal sidings. But water's been getting down inside the wall and it's rotted out the bottom plate. It's rotted out some of oh, the main bearers too. The ends of the bearers under the floor are rotted. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. This thing used to be my junk shed. Uh, for many years I've just stored rubbish in here. But I've got plans for it. So I've got to get to work now and rebuild this back wall. And I'm going to put a false roof over the top of it so that it has more fall and the rain can come off. And I'm going to refurbish the inside and turn it into a kitchen and a bathroom. Um, they'll be compact, but it's uh, all part of a grand plan that I've got because my house truck that I built 20 years ago is on the move. I've sold it to some friends down the road and I'm going to build myself something new. So this is my game of Tetris. It's now about 10 o'clock at night. I can't get to sleep so I'm out here working by torchlight um, trying to find ways of getting this sink bench in for the kitchen part without putting any of the furniture out in the rain. It's difficult. It's still winter here in New Zealand and the weather is pretty rough most days. So this is like Tetris. I've got to move this to fit that, to slide this, to push that. And eventually I'll get this, um, I'll get enough space to be able to get the bench into place. I've got to take a little bit more off the end of the bench, so I've got to get it out so I can get the saw into the end of it. It's not, it's not easy, I tell you. Next day, back outside, and I'm putting new floor joists underneath it before I refit that uh, bottom plate. So bash these into place. That'll get the floor, the sag out of the floor. If you're wondering what the shade sails are that are hanging around the place, I've had them up for frost protection over the winter because I've got these very frost tender tamarillo trees growing next to the shed and I have to protect them each winter. Almost there. I had about three um, broken floor joists. This shed has had some abuse over the years. It's been dragged from place to place around the property and it's um, been overloaded with machinery. I've had tons of machinery stored inside it. It's a little bit woodwormy in places and rotted in other places. But I figure I'll get another 10 years out of it if I do these repairs now. Well, now that I've got the floor joists in place and I've got it leveled up, and I've, I've also done a couple of pile repairs too. I've dug out three of the piles and reset them in new concrete because uh, they'd sunk a little. Now I'm nailing in the bottom plate. And once I've got this bottom plate nailed in, I can uh, put the sheathing over just lightly. I'll put the cladding just back on with a few nails to keep the rain out because in a few days I'll need to get back in here again because I've got wiring and plumbing to do. It's early spring in New Zealand and the weather where I live is really, really fickle. So um, I've got to get this new roof on. I've put false fascias around the outside of the building just to give it a little bit of presence. I've got a friend who um, has a timber mill and he's got this Japanese cedar which is really lightweight 
and quite a nice looking wood and he's given me some of the raw ridge boards that a lot of customers don't want and I've got these to make my shed look a little bit more interesting. I'm now just using bugle bolts on my impact driver to put the purlins in place. Oh, by the way, I'm putting them to match the holes in the second hand iron that I'm about to use. So they're only a few millimetres away from where they should be, but it just means that I don't have to put more holes in the roofing iron. I can reuse the holes that were already there, so there's no chance of leaks. So this once over lightly video is um, just to show you what I've been doing while we've been locked down and I can't get my teeth into any real jobs because I just can't get hold of stuff because of course everywhere's shut and we're not supposed to be leaving home unless it's for exercise or food. So um, I'm busying myself with this and if you'd like to see it more in detail, if you'd like to know more about the plumbing or more about the roofing or the wiring, let me know in the comments down below and I'll whip out a more detailed video and show you what I'm doing. One thing I would like to share is I'm not using any nails in this job. It, everything is bugle screws, which means I'm not swinging a hammer. All I'm using is my impact driver and these long galvanized screws instead of nails. And it's really, really effective and fast. I'm just cutting myself some, I'm just cutting myself some little nogs now to go uh, in between the two roofs. It's not normal building practice to have a double roof skin, but I, but I've decided to do it this way because on the Land Rovers that I work on, the ones operated in hot climates use what they call a safari roof, and that literally is two roof skins with an air gap in between. So I'm going to use that system on here to keep the heat down in the summer because this little shed used to get really, really hot. So with an air gap, it's as good as insulation. But you can see that this one has got just a little more fall than the old one, which was almost flat. And that's why it's a little bit rusty, because water sat around on there far too much. So I'm going down now, and I'm going to toss up the sheets. And I can uh, screw the sheets down on top of it. And that's the outside of this little shed done. And I can move to the inside. And that will be the subject of another video. Oh, sneak preview. Here's the inside of my kitchen that cost me next to nothing. So if recycling, rebuilding, repurposing and reusing is your style, why not subscribe to the channel? And while you're down there, give the old like button a tickle too for me, would you?